Hello everyone, my name is Dhananjay Kumar and I blog at debugmode.net. In this video, I am going to teach you that how to create an object in JavaScript. As you see on your screen, you can create object in JavaScript in three possible ways. You can create an object as literal. You can create an object using object.create static method. And the most popular, you can create an object using the new operator. And when you create an object using new operator, that is known as constructor pattern. Let us go ahead and see that how we can create that. Here I am using sublime text and I am going to run JavaScript on Node.js. So let us say you have a function called rectangle and this function takes two parameter height and width. You will initialize the function like this, this dot height equal to height and then this dot width equal to width. Now here you have a choice. Now to calculate the area we need to create a function and you can create that function right here this dot area equal to function and then you can say return the value here. I'm not going to use this approach. The reason behind that when you create a function here all the objects of rectangle will have its own copy of this function which you don't want. Only you want this variable, this constructor variable separate for separate object. However, this function can be shared across the object. And to make it share across the object, what we can do, we'll leave rectangle function like this and then we'll use rectangle dot prototype dot area equal to function and in this function you can say this dot area equal to this dot height multiply this dot width and then you can say return this dot area now as you see what we have done here we have created a function called rectangle and we are going to create object of this function rectangle we are passing to parameter height and width and then setting these two here. So value of height and width will be separate for the separate objects. Whereas we are using prototype to create a area function such that this function can be shared across that, across all the objects of rectangle. Now let us go ahead and uh, create object. Now we can create an object like this, rec1 equal to now you see that what I'm doing in line number 12, I'm using the new operator and then I'll say new rectangle and then we can pass the parameter. Let us say we are passing 5 and 4 as a height and width. And then we can say where result to rec 1 area equal to rectangle 1 dot area. We are calling the function which we created here. let us print that value click on area now what I have done here again I am uh, recapturing them I created a function and we are going to create object of this function rectangle each object will have its own height and width then I'm creating an area function using the prototype such that this function can be shared across all the objects of rectangle then I'm using new operator to create the object and now if we press here you see that we are getting output 20. Now if you go ahead and want to create more object you can very much do that. Come here and say where let us say rectangle 2, rectangle 2 area and then rect 2 area and we are passing this time for example some other values 7 and 6 and then we can say rect 2 area. So here you see that we have created two object of rectangle object a rectangle class or function here and say control B and here you are getting the output 20 and 42. So this is as simple as this to 
create an object in JavaScript using the new operator and when you create an object using new operator that is known as constructor pattern. I hope you find this video useful. Uh, don't forget to follow me on Twitter. My Twitter handle is debug underscore mode. And you can subscribe to my blog which is debugmode.net. Thank you for watching it.